Hello, beautiful people. So uh, your role this week is to play the role of the critical lens wearer. And we've talked about a little bit in class this idea of um, not just reading a book, but being really specific and being really intentional going into uh, your work when you're reading. And this role is ultimately asking for like a hyper version of yourself, a hyper intense uh, critical version of yourself. So the critical lens wearer, let's get going. Okay, so basically the critical lens, uh, I'm going to give you kind of an introduction of what that means and I'll kind of, uh, my video will go away when it kind of overlaps with some of the stuff, but here we go. So a critical lens, something that we um, have to remember is that when you're reading something, you're never not yourself right? You are, you know, the gender you associate with, you are the race that you identify with, you are the social class you identify with, you're the age, so on and so forth. So when you're reading something, you have to consider the sensitivities you're going to have or like the way that maybe you wouldn't be sensitive to something uh, because of who you are. So you also have to consider that you're different today than the way you were yesterday or the way you may be in the future, which is why rereading something never hurts because you're always gonna be a slightly different version of yourself. So um, this role of critical, critical lens wearer, and I'm kind of putting my cursor over it, but if you can have your role notes out while you are listening to this, that would really help you kind of be able to maybe like pause what I'm doing and look down at the notes. So. Every novel can be read, every story, every song, honestly, every advertisement, commercial, everything out there could be uh, read through a critical lens. When you think of a lens, I mean, I think of like glasses, like eyeglasses or like a magnifying glass. But when we're thinking about a lens, it means that we are looking at something really skeptically, like we're trying to look for something and maybe there isn't anything to catch and maybe once we're using that lens or we're looking for a specific thing, like a little Where's Waldo, like we find what we're looking for. So number two here, a critical lens means that you're reading with a specific purpose to notice particular ways that the author or illustrator, if it's a graphic novel as well, or just a children's book like The Princess and the Pony, is commenting on a group of people or society because of the way they portray them. That will make sense as we go along here. Basically, the critical lens in this lit circle unit, as you're reading your book with your people, you are gonna choose if you read with a gender lens, a youth lens, or a race slash ethnicity lens. And it can help you examine the way that the author is really portraying that type of person in the story. Your job is literally for the rest of your life. And I haven't, ever since I studied how to do this, it's like it's something I can't turn off. So hopefully it's something that you keep with you for the rest of time. <clears throat> so how do you do it? How do you read through this critical lens? All right, so the author is representing um, the character in their book. Let's just talk about like the princess and the pony, right? That little children's book that we read uh, in the, today when I'm making this video, but you read probably yesterday. So um, when, a, when an author makes or draws a character, they choose to make that person a specific race. They choose to make that character, if it's fictional that is, they choose to make that character a specific age or a specific, have specific personality qualities. And so when you're reading, you've got to say, why is the author portraying this African-American person like this? Are they saying that African-American people or short people or blind people or old people, whatever the category is, are they saying that type of person is like that? Are they doing this? Is the author doing this in a way that I feel is right, according to kind of my code, my moral ethical code. So when you're reading something, sometimes you got to say, I really think they're revealing a truth about that type of person or that demographic. Or maybe you read something and you say, huh, upon further examination, I really think they're being a little unfair with how they portray that specific age or that race or that gender. So when you read your book, if you're doing your critical lens, wear a role. You're gonna read along, you're just gonna enjoy your story. But 
you're going to say, hmm, what is the age of my character? Am I dealing with younger people? Like the youth lens will, in your practice, explain more. Or is my, are my protagonists primarily female? Maybe I want to look at the gender role and how they're portraying m women. Is my main character Muslim? Do I want to specific talk, specifically talk about a race or religion or ethnicity? You will be asking yourself as you read these four questions, and I'll let you maybe pause and read over those. Those are also on your notes. Next, and these are on the back of your role notes as well, when you decide which lens, so it could be youth, it could be gender, or it could be race, or a combo. When you decide which applies most to your book, you start asking yourself these questions either while you're reading or at the end of your section. For instance, if I was reading a book and it particularly talked about um, a woman who was in the 1950s, and let's say that she was extremely abused by her husband and she felt that she couldn't break free of the domestic role that she'd been given, I would maybe choose gender because I'd want to focus on specifically the things about this woman that are uh, gender stereotypes and gender roles of the time. So I would maybe ask myself, how is the author representing the character's gender? Well, if the woman was extremely docile, meaning extremely meek, maybe the author's trying to say women are weak. Maybe if they're saying women are weak and it takes a lot um, and the men in the book are portrayed to be extremely masculine with all the masculine stereotypes and they're extremely strong-willed and extremely mean, what if, how essentially is the author uh, portraying different genders through their interpretation. And then maybe you'd say, gosh, in real life, do I really feel like genders are this way? Or maybe you'd say that way about race. Or maybe you're like, this whole book portrays teenagers to be super bratty. Hmm. Do I feel like that's a fair interpretation? So basically, this whole book, you are wanting to say, do I feel as if the author is representing this demographic in a fair way? Moving along, on your hyperdoc, you will notice down below there is a practice section where I have given you a document with tons of links to different like commercials and ads. And you can click on any and all of them. I think the more the better. And I've also recommended which one, uh, so like these commercials are embedded in that document. You can take a look at those, all those commercials slash ads and um, Look at them through the different lenses. And I know that when you ask the, yourself this essential question, because the author is portraying, let's say, um, Asian Americans in this sort of way, they want me to think that Asian Americans are this way, right? Or uh, babies are always this way, or old people are always this way. So as you process this lecture and as you process your practice, I want you to start to think about in your book which lens would make the most sense, whether you're in the very first chunk of your book or you're nearing the end. This very last slide I also have embedded in the hyperdoc, and this is essentially just kind of a walkthrough of what you're going to do on your roll sheet. You're going to want to A, summarize the section of this book, telling me the page numbers that you read, and then on your little grid, like this grid, you're going to want to tell me which lens you were particularly focusing on. Maybe you focused on all three at different points, or you just look at the youth lens in different sections. You can choose the same lens that you look at in three different parts of, or three different chapters or three different parts. You can focus on the same character many times and how the, the, the um, author is really commenting on a quality about them. You're gonna want the question number is corresponds to this. So this would be question one, two, three, four of the youth lens. Then you will write the page number for the reference that you're talking about and the text evidence here. You will bring this sheet to your discussion and the discussion questions you'll write in the class before your discussion. I hope that you get a lot out of Critical Lens because quite honestly, this is one of my favorite things and most meaningful things to do with text. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy reading.